Bonjour mes amis, my name is Freya and welcome back to the CCSF 2023 Wolfling Run. First order of business, I need to replace the x-ray. And of course a big big thank you to Verm for not only updating the x-ray in the first place, but bringing my attention to it. Ooh. Oh, that's stylish. Okay, we'll use that from now on. And secondly, a big big thank you to Iko for giving me a suggestion on how I can figure out what's slowing down my world. I'm running the thing that she suggested. And we're gonna find out. In the meantime, I'll just play as normal. Um, gonna start with an organ check with this swanky new x-ray tool. All right, let's go, Owo. Peachy Keen, Nissa, Hornet, Gigi, Flitter Budget, Daydream, Gravy Bean, Adeline, Lyra, poor Lyra, poor, poor Lyra, Wisteria, Tink, Space Beat Breeze, Candleheart, Crescendo, Lavender Okapi, Circulation, Obi, Kiku, Sick Fruit Juice, Glomp, Steve Grand, Oof Me, Leon Britannica, Vladimir, Samuel, Tokatin Tobikini Toku, Sir Moo, Poliwagger, Scrungus, and his heart problem. And yeah, that's everyone. Now let me go see if I can't figure out what's slowing this down. Hey guys, it's Editing Freya. Thank you also to everyone else who also suggested I try out the magic profiler to find out what was slowing down the world. In this clip, I only really check out the time it takes things to process, but Dave's shuttle gave some valuable information on why older games often run slow on beefy computers, as well as told me to check on the number of updates, which I will do before the next video. Uh. Yeah, it's mostly just the Norns. And, like, to a much, much lesser extent, the world wrap grabber. I could turn off the night switcher. Yeah, it's just the Norns. Oh, well. I will turn off the day-night cycle. For whatever it's worth. And let's do an event! Plague. Oof me got wasted. Lavender Okapi got wasted. And Tink was too overwhelmed by speech bubbles to tell me. Tink got slave toxin. This next one is one of mine. It's called the Shroom Log. It produces four different varieties of mushroom. Click on the log to change the type. The white mushrooms contain arnica, which helps fight against glycotoxin poisoning. The green mushrooms make Grendel's drowsy, but contain a powerful antihistamine for Norns. Norns are likewise allergic, though not severely, to the red mushrooms, which boost a Grendel's immune system. Finally, yellow mushrooms are packed full of vitamins for everyone, but relieve boredom only in Ettens. By the way, thank you to everybody who said that you would like to see the event wheel released as an agent. I will try my very best to get that out. I can't guarantee I'll actually, you know, have it available by the end of the CCSF, but um, I will definitely be releasing that as an agent at some point. Another toy has been lost to the volcano because I can't have them, like, trying to chase that in there. I'm sorry, oof me. Oh, and because the Norns have all sort of clumped together into like two main groups, I am going to reshuffle them once more. Okay. Oh wow, a surprising number wound up in here. Peachy Keen was stuck. Why is Lyra sneezing? I'm not finding anything wrong with her. Oh, are you stuck in there? Can you not get out? Oh no! Tokuten Tobikini Toku got out. Ah, Gigi's heart's down to 50%. What happened? I'm gonna turn off the voices. Alright, they're starting to come down. This group's doing okay. 
Oh, and of course, because I um removed love time from the wheel last time, it is now eligible again. Doing another event. Wartime. All right. Did I turn off sound effects too? I did. Oops. I was wondering why everything seemed so peaceful. Mira's still sneezing, but the others have managed to migrate downwards a little bit. Ah! Samuel the first to uh, leave those little biospheres. Oh! I did not know that there was a background issue with the male C1 banana norn head sprites. Samuel's sneezing too. Oh, but Samuel has histamine. Oh no, Lyra does have histamine. Did I miss that last time? Here's another one of my agents, similar to the shroom log. This is the muscle stick. The stick itself looks like bamboo, but it's actually a colonial animal more similar to coral. More importantly, it has a symbiotic relationship with Albion mussels, whose eggs float dormant in most bodies of water. When the stick is at least half submerged, mussels will start to grow on it, which Norns can eat. I didn't catch what the flashing meant on the new x-ray. Hang on, I'm gonna look at the readme again. Okay, so according to the readme, the flashing means that it's actually healing. If it were flashing red, then it would mean it's actively taking damage, but because it's flashing the color that it is currently, it's a, it's a good sign, it's healing. Oh, oh, pregnancies, oh goodness. Wisteria is pregnant. Wisteria has twins. Hornet is pregnant. And Candleheart is pregnant. Are any of Lyra's actively healing? That's what I want to know. Lyra's healing her aging gonad and fight. And she's finally making it down from the top biosphere. Circulation is going where he shouldn't. Why did the voices turn back on? They're not on. Oh no. What happens if I can't get rid of them? Am I cursed? It goes away when I turn the sound effects off. But then I won't be able to hear kiss popping. Hornet has laid an egg. Candleheart has laid an egg. Wisteria has laid an egg. Ah, two eggs from Wisteria, the, the twins. All right. Hello. Five points each to Hornet and Obi for Towering Mangosteen. Tentatively turning the sound effects back on. Fejoa? Fejoa? Or is that Fehoa? Could be either. I have no idea what that word is. Five points each to Candleheart and Leon Britannica for microscopic fe something. This next round of submissions is from Mia. These are the mini nuts, and they come in four distinct colors. Gold, green gold, violet, and brown. These function similarly to Mia's other plants, and the gold nuts contain EDTA. Baby Kiwano. I don't know what kind of uh, food that is either. Five points each to Wisteria and Vladimir for Baby Kiwano. A 
And finally, five points each to Wisteria and Vladimir for strapping squash. After that round of babies, Skrungus is still in first place with 44 points, trailing behind him Wisteria, Peachy Keen, Nissa Resurgent Animist, and Candleheart with 34. Behind them, Hornet, Samuel, Glomp, Leon Britannica, and Vladimir. Behind them, Lyra, Polywagger, Flitterbudget, Adelin, Sick Fruit Juice, Sir Moo, and Gravy Bean. Behind them, Oh Woe, Gigi, Daydream, Circulation, Lavender Okapi, Oof Me, Space Beat Breeze, Tink, and Obi, and then everybody else. Relocate. Oh well, I think. Oops. Move safe only works on autonomous agents. I thought I fixed that, but I suppose not with that particular part of the script. Oh well. Um, let's, uh. Oh. Oh, because the script didn't finish, it, um, it couldn't reset Owo's acceleration due to gravity. Okay. Um, I will personally relocate Owo to the incubator area. Because I'm nice. Um, Targ, Norn, acceleration, gravity, 2. There we go. I don't actually know if 2 is the default, but it's always what I set things to after the fact. Oh, and the voices are gone again. Yay! Here's another one of mine. This is the Nectar Box. It looks kind of like a bee box, but it's actually full of dark-loving plants. You'll never see them, but they secrete a sticky, sweet nectar classified as fruit. Your Norns can only see and smell it when there's nectar to be harvested. Alright, let's do another. Plague! Gravy Bean got antigen 1. Tink got allergies. Gravy Bean got antigen 0. Poor Gravy Bean! With the wombo combo. Oh, that's cool! We can see what organs are being damaged now. So, uh, whatever Gravy Bean's got right now, it's damaging her, um, liver B. I don't know the difference between liver B and A. Skin, aging, gonad, condiem? And muscles. Um, the antigens seem to be out of her system, at least according to the medical monitor, and she's just got histamine A and B, but it's still showing that the organs are taking damage. I'm gonna go take a look at Tink, who also has histamine A and B, because I didn't think the histamines damaged that much. No, Tink's fine. Huh. Oh, Gigi died! What happened? Oh my goodness! How did that happen? There were guardrails! Ah! Oh! She must have fallen out of the boat somehow. Okay, I don't really need the autopsy tool for this, but just to make doubly sure. Blood loss from suffocation. What happened? The guardrails are on! It must have been the boat. The boat must have somehow ejected her into the ocean. Oh my goodness! My commiserations to the one who screams for poor Gigi. I suppose this toy 
down here could have gotten her out, or at least that's what it did in Creatures 2. So, you know, maybe... Maybe it's a fair death, but like, still... Heck! Well... Farewell, Gigi, with a score of 20 points. Also the first Norn to die. Um... Wow, that's sad! I'm sad now! I'm gonna have to keep a closer eye on bodies of water, I guess. Although I suppose if I'm allowing Gigi to die from it, I have to allow anyone to die from it. As opposed to, like, Lyra, who I at least saved from the volcano, even if she took damage. I really thought Lyra would be the first to go. So if you look at the poor thing, like, look at all that. Man. This is my last permanent food source. It's a salt lick. I'm not sure why I decided it would be a good idea. As with the shroom log, mussel stick, and nectar box, it's a permanent fixture that your Norns can feed off of. But unlike the shroom log, mussel stick, and nectar box, it doesn't take time to regenerate. Your Norns can eat from the salt lake all day long and it will never run down. Anyway, these three are still in the biosphere area, but it must be possible to get out of there because Samuel was with them at one point and now he's over here. Okay. I shouldn't be getting too upset about Gigi because I've got 29 Norns to go. We're already on day 5 of 14, and um, I need all of these guys to keel over but one. Keeping an eye on sick fruit juice. <laughs> Well, that worked. Oof me, you'll, uh, you'll help me test this, right? That guardrail's working. And that guardrail's wor- Maybe the submarine ejected her. Hang on, let me put Oof me back where I found him. No! What happened here? Okay. I am justified in removing Peachy Keen from that mini lake because there is actually no way to get out. I'm not positive if the toy in the ocean can actually spring Norns out the way it does in Creatures 2, but there's nothing in that tiny lake that could have gotten Peachy Keen out of there. I should probably end this video before something else horrible happens. One more event. Relocate. Oof me. Just down there. All right, cool. Aha, okay, that kiss popping resulted in nothing. Phew. Okay, so I guess the leaderboard has not changed since there weren't any additional births since I last read it off. Let's all salute poor Gigi, who's off in silicon heaven. And that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.